Hello guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to the bench. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to airbrush uh, mica powders. And uh, these metal pigments really come in handy. Um, kind of a money saver too if you think about it because you're really gonna stretch uh, stretch your paint for your dollar for sure. And um, I got two styles here, but you can use anything, uh, any pigment you know, that's made for, uh, to, you know, for artwork and to be blended. Now this box set from Amazon has your basic colors, your gold, copper, a silver, and an antique gold. That's what came in this box. A lot of very similar colors there. And in this box, let's get uh, new out of the way here. In this box, we have a a wide array of colors look at this uh, also on Amazon I'll put the link below for sure at the end of this um, anyway look at the colors in here now this is a full spectrum of colors uh, copper shine I mean we can go through all of them I'll take them out in a sec you know truly red sky blue pearl white silver that sounds nice I recommend your gloves uh, when you first get these because they're not packed that well. Royal gold, look at that. So um, this was a good value. This you're getting a lot of colors, a lot right off the bat. So uh, I do recommend if you're going to try this, might as well go right ahead and grab this. It's like getting an entire paint rack of colors for sure. Beaver Brown, that's a band from Rhode Island. So, there you go. And actually, the band is named after a, a can of paint that they saw at the hardware store. So, I guess, there you go. The legend is true. Um, tangerine. What do we have here? Flamingo pink. Olive green. Truly red. Lavender purple. Nice looking blue. Sky blue. That's nice. I will try that for sure. Uh, what do we have here? Pearl, silver, white. I have to try that over black. Uh, royal gold. Silver, black. Nice color. So that's the, everything in the box. It came with these little... Uh, these little sticks, I guess, so you can take them out and use this. You know, I'm going to use my regular coffee stirrers, but that's nice that they threw that in. Let's get the box out of the way. Okay. Now here's... How we're going to deliver these to the to the kit to the plastic you're going to what they call a medium is a fancy word for just a clear uh, I'll show you what I mean all right here we go see it all clad makes a transparent medium all right off camera here let me grab it glaze medium so when you see medium, it's usually it's a carrier to put uh, other paints in. Um, sorry, guys, when I get out of camera range. So, uh, but for this, I'm going to do it. This, I'm going to simplify this right down. We're going to put it in clear. Any clear you guys have. For this, I am going to use my Model Master uh, gloss clear lacquer finish. Only because I got like three bottles of this stuff. It's a good time to use it. But it's the same as all these. Here is the other Model Master Top Clear. Here is um, Mr. Color Clear, if you got that on your shelf. Uh, we can go with, let me see what else I got here. Here we go. Uh, I'm out of camera range again. Look, this is a giant bottle of uh, all clad gloss coat. So just pick your gloss coat. For this, we're gonna pick a gloss coat. And for all this, I'm gonna use this lacquer here, but it's the same. You could pick any of them. Like I said, I think I got three bottles of this stuff, so we're going to use that for this. But you can use any clear that you want. Now, here's how we're going to do it. No exact science here, guys, because I'm doing small amounts for the video. You guys experiment like I am on a spoon is what I recommend. And then uh, from there, you'll know your own measurements and... Uh, how much you want to put on. I don't know if you're going to try it on a kit. 
which would require you know quite a bit more and I would use maybe some spare jars hold on make get the color you like and store it in a nice spare jar it holds up well now you've seen the lacquer it's a little thick we're gonna thin this so we're gonna thin this as if we're spraying any of my lacquers you've seen me spray before which is uh, I like a 50 50 mix because you know it is lacquer it can go on thin all right that's 50 50 now you can also do it after you put the powders in I like to do it now just to get it all mixed up evenly my clear I could tell when it's mixed with the thinner there's no separation see it there's the well it's hard to see a thinness on the cup but you know what I, it's the skim milk it's the old skim milk measurements all right now let's look for a uh, cool color here I did some off camera so I want to make sure uh, we got some different ones on camera I'm not gonna spray a ton maybe I'll do maybe we'll do like three of them all right now don't use this stick because you'll mess up your powders but here they are they have shakers I guess if you remove this stopper you can use it as a shaker we don't want to do that we're gonna go in with let's keep this in camera shot here all right just gonna go in and grab a little bit even that might be too much you know there you go see it and we're just gonna dump it in might be a little more we might want and it goes a long way and you'll see what I mean in one second there it is floating around see it here we go now you see what I mean how much my uh, a lot a little goes a long way look at that is that a beautiful color Wow I haven't tried this color yet that is beautiful look at that there's some color shifting in here too I've seen some color shift paints so uh, maybe we'll try one of those too. We're gonna do, I think we'll do about three on camera. I just want to show you guys how to uh, how to get this done. You know. Now these are the same. If we go with this, these powders, these are exactly the same thing. You know, it looks like you didn't get a lot, but it's sold by weight. You know, not by volume, and it packs itself down. But uh, these end up looking uh, pretty close to this. You end up looking like that. And you can also brush these on too, but I wouldn't thin them if you're going to brush them. You know, I'm going to, uh, maybe I'll test it at the end, a brush quick, quick. But for now, um, we're going to go over to the booth. Maybe we'll spray it on some dark pieces. We're going to put it on a, a black plastic spoon, uh, as I like to test. Maybe we'll put some over white to see if it changes the white. And um, we'll take it from there. Anyway, that's how we're going to get them done. They're all the same way. You're going to put your your medium in which in my case is a gloss any gloss you guys have anyone you're comfortable with get it prepped thin how you like it and then just pick your color a little bit like I showed you you know you can use the spoons that came with it or just use your sticks and mix it right up you'll know right away that it's it's good you know it's the same as I do for uh, thinning my regular paints at, at this point all right so now at this price point look at the colors we have now if this um, if this is thin properly it should go on perfect you'll know right away you'll know right away if it's too thick for your airbrush now for this we're going to use my badger 105 Patriot you want to go with the biggest needle you got because some of these powders are a little thick so go with the thickest thickest go with the biggest needle you have this is a 0.55 but uh, even a 0.3 should be fine I wouldn't go below that though at all don't go below a 0.3 um, you can experiment and if you do, you're going to have to turn up the air pressure just to compensate. But anyway, let's head over to the booth and let's take a look at the results. All right, guys, here we are back at the booth. And uh, it's a little loud. I got the dual fans going. I'm sorry. Some guys keep asking me about uh, the black. I have when I pull out a spoon, I have these nice shiny spoons. And uh, for the last couple videos, I've been using Tamiya uh, TS-14. I bought a box of them. Um, it helps with the videos because uh, I can get them done quick, but I'm going to show you guys quick um, How I prep my black spoons, which is basically That and nothing sprays better than a Tamiya can this is the best stuff 
out there spray can wise I just love it look at it it's like glass it's perfect and it holds so far everything I've tested nothing has given me trouble on a uh, to me a black spoon so with that said let's go in with the uh, mica powder sky blue by litter bee what a name I got it right here I haven't put it in the gun yet which is right off camera here and that's it I have this set for 15 PSI uh, that's what the Badger Patriot calls for so I've been doing it as they suggested and it's been working out perfectly not help you to see yet so let's keep going Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a baby blue. Very nice. It doesn't have that, you know, plated chrome look. It's got more of a metallic, but um, probably will look great on cars and a highlighted piece on uh, Gundams for sure. Look at that. I don't have a clue how it's going to work on uh, just a piece, so let's try it. Almost looks like when they uh, when you buy a special edition Gundam kit, it says uh, you know special plating. That's exactly what this looks like. Goes on nice, which means the. Uh, the testers model master clears basically goes on nice because that's all we're doing wow this looks great it really went on good on this piece wow look at that look at that that's awesome all right let me see how it looks over white uh we're gonna try it on a spoon you know what we'll try it on one of these little tiny pieces let me put the brush down and just clip this on there we go I don't think we're going to see it on the white, but hey, let's try it out. Yeah, if you see it at all, it certainly made the piece shiny. Oh, you know what? This is going to be like the color shifting stuff over white. This, uh, it is going to show blue under light because I can see it. This over white, I think, will be good for a darker color for sure. I don't want to get over there for dark. It's mostly brightly colored micas but uh no you know what this looks good i'm liking what i'm seeing it, it does look pretty good it sprays beautifully all right well there we go that's over a few pieces all right, I'll mix up with some other random color. I'll come back to the booth. All right, guys, next up, we're going to try the other brand, the Metallic Powder Copper. Here it is mixed up. All right. Start off with our black spoon first. goes on really nice there we go look at that huh all right let's try it over this uh, gray plastic actually it looks like a dark blue a dark standard Gundam blue Goes on nice. I think that's it. Yeah, look at that. All right, let's try it over some white. Hold 
on guys, let me get a piece of for a weight test here. Let's go again with this little one. Trying to go lighter coats on the white. Oh, there it goes. It looks like it's not in certain spots, but it's got that color shift effect where you turn it and you see white, but it's actually it's actually covered in gold. It's perfect. Or bronze, whatever this is, copper. Yep, there you go. Awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to do one more color on camera. I got a few I did off camera, and we'll go with the results at the bench. I'm going to go blend up one more color for the camera, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm going to go with a brighter color this time because I have no idea how this one's going to go. Uh, we're going to go with this lemon yellow. I don't know how it's going to go over black. I don't know what this is going to look like. This is the first time I'm doing one of this color. I'm showing you how it looks mixed up. All right, airbrush is right here. All right. All right, here we go. This is uh, a first time for me looking at a bright color like this. Let's see what we get. Oh, the color's nice. The color's way better than I thought it would have. But this stuff has a, a definite shine to it. Uh -oh. You can see the flakes. You know, it's not going to be that plated. Oh, it's really nice, though. It's a nice color. Another great accent color for a gumpla kit for sure look at that it just goes on so well that uh, test is clear is all right all right the experiment over a uh, straight piece of uh, Gundam kit this is that dark blue color navy blue Yeah, this definitely has that plated look. Let me let this dry for a few seconds. There's a lot of little crevices in there. All right, we're going to look at it over some white. I don't know if this is going to do anything. Yeah, not bad. I can see it. Much nicer than I thought. And this is a pretty light color, so that'll tell you the pigments in this mica is really heavy. Look at that. Tricky lighting, but it looks great. This airbrush definitely likes it. All right, let's finish off the navy piece here. Almost a gold plating. But at least it goes over every color really nice. I mean, there's no... Uh, it's having no trouble here at all. There we go. All right, guys, I got a bunch of colors I did already. Um, the ones I did here live on camera, I've never seen before, and I, they're all great. Um, so uh, let me put these in the dehydrator, and I'll meet you back at the bench, and we'll go over the results. All right, guys, here we are, back at the bench. Let's go over some results here. And um, very nice, very nice. And you've seen how little I use, so this is gonna tell you how far your dollar's gonna go. This whole box was like 20 bucks or 25 bucks. For all these, you couple that with a jar of clear, you got yourself a whole range of paint. Anyway, here is the first one we did, sky blue. Look at that. I didn't gloss it. I mean, you could put a gloss over it. You could dull coat it. You could actually spray it with matte coat I read for a matte effect. Look at it over the... This is that dark grayish Gundam piece. There there it is right there off the rat, off of the runner. And this is it sprayed. Beautiful. It laid down just beautiful. 
little different from over being over the black so it does change its look obviously here it is over white so it changes its look completely based on the base color but darker ones really really you know bring it out uh, if you could see it in person it's this this would take a lot of layering to get all the, you know you can really see through to the plastic you're gonna have to probably put a white primer down and then go over it in tiny layers to get this effect whereas this was just straight as I showed you how I mixed it straight over one one or two shots and that was the result beautiful beautiful here is the uh, lemon yellow just about a gold color almost You can see gold in the distance, so it's eh, it's not it's not quite. It does have that yellowy look to it. Very nice though. I was shocked at how nice it went down. This is it over the dark blue uh, Gundam. Looks like the upper leg right there from an old kit. Look at how nice that went over that. Fantastic. And that was just dumping these cheap mica into a clear and just airbrushing it. This is over white. Again, really good results. I was shocked as to how good the yellow went down. Now this is from this other kit that I have. This is copper. How nice is that? Looks like pretty much an all clad or one of my metal metalizers. This is it over that same other piece, that dark grayish blue. It's really fine. It didn't really clog. I can still put panel lining details into that right there. Isn't that great? This is it over white. A much lighter tone, obviously. But still good coverage. Look at the coverage. I didn't clean up the nubs. I just snipped it right off quick for the... Literally, just before I hit the, the booth, I snipped it with my other, my other free hand because I forgot it. But look at that. That is awesome. Um, those are the three we did on camera. Let me show you some stuff I did off camera. Now, I don't like the silver. I practice on the silver and I got this very flaky look to it. It just didn't come out like this. I'm gonna keep experimenting because the other ones are just so great that I'm not quite sure why the silver let me down. Um, I don't even have another one I wish I could show you. I, I, I was just trying and trying my best to get it to work, and I just couldn't do it. Here it is over black, just black plastic of the knife here. So, well, not bad. It just doesn't match the, the nice quality that the coppers and the golds gave me. Matter of fact, I'll show you the gold right now. It's the one I held up. That's uh, rustic gold that came in the package. You know, I just nicked it when I took it out of the dehydrator I had a piece underneath I didn't see that's what that nick is but look at how nice that is I mean the, the the metals that come in that package are beautiful this was just over a black spoon this is the where I brushed it can you see this I brush painted it you're getting a lot of strokes but um, you can brush paint it on small pieces for sure because look at the quality of that brushing I mean you can see the strokes I did it once across and let it sit I wanted to see how it brushed on and it actually went on nice and it's really sturdy too really durable this is through the airbrush so the metal colors in these gold tones are really good the silver I'm gonna have to keep practicing for sure this is the bronze in the same package look at how nice that is look at it I mean it's just awesome dead-on color here I sprayed this uh, gumpla leg this is that darkish blue gray color I just snipped it off the runner and sprayed it with this. Look at that. Beautiful, smooth as silk, just wonderful. All right, here we did uh, silver black. Let me show you this. This is a nice dark uh, grayish silver tone. Look at that, almost a bluing color. Doesn't look that blue in person, the camera and the lighting is making it blue. Here it is on the knife. But it doesn't look that blue in person. It really looks uh, closer to the jar. Isn't that nice? That's a nice...
color particularly in here it's all bright colors to get this uh, silver black color in there is awesome this is olive green however it came out quite yellow but close to the package if you've seen it in person it, it's really close to the jar I sprayed it over this spoon this and this knife this was the gloss black Tamiya base and this is just over a black plastic knife That was the Make Olive Green. Let's get that back there. A lot of colors came in that set. This was the color shifting. Now, oh, you can probably see it there. See how it's purple up here and blue? This is a color shift. Now, I imagine there's other color shifts in here. i got to go through them. But this was notable when I picked it right up and I could see the blue reflection. However, I wasn't prepared for how it sprayed. <laughs> That's this over the this here. And I should have put it over some white. I, was, uh, I didn't have the pieces prepped. I was just getting the airbrush ready and then figuring out the, uh, the thinning ratios. But that's a this oh, over black. Uh, it don't look like this, but I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful blue. Look at that blue. That is awesome. What an awesome blue. I don't even know if it's even going to match the blue that came with it. I'll try this over the weekend and compare it. I'm curious. Now it's so easy to use and it cleans out of the airbrush. Really nice. Color to color. I just Shot some lacquer thinner through it and went on to the next color. It had no interference at all. How cool is this, huh? Now, for an experiment, I took Armored Komodo black chrome powders. See them? In my old video from last year, where I, we, these you have to rub into a wet black. You take it and you just rub it in with your finger and a glove. And uh, you get some nice chrome effect. Really nice chrome effects, actually. So I was curious how it would airbrush. And that's how it airbrushed. Now you can see the flakes. Unfortunately, when you rub them, you don't get the flake. It looks like it's plated. But it is a nice look. It airbrushed fine. It dried. It hardened nice. So it did work. It is an alternative. However, these are not cheap. Whereas these are cheap. You know, the whole thing is to save money. But it's an experiment. I was just trying with everything. Now you can also buy these are at Hobby Lobby. This is eight bucks, but you're getting a giant bottle of it. Personally, I don't think you need it this big. These smaller ones are going to last you forever. You've seen how much I used. But if you want to try it in your area, just go in one aisle and grab the clear from testers and go in the other aisle and grab this and you're on your way without having to order anything. So those are some of the other powders I would use. Um, off camera, I tried this. Uh, this is pearl silver white. And uh, pretty much what you see, I don't know what these spots are. I must have got some dust on it. So that was this one over black. Not bad, it's a good looking color. Not bad. Anyway, uh, really impressive, particularly for how cheap this was for this whole box. And these were about 20 bucks for this set of uh, these uh, plated colors, the bronze, the copper, the golds. And uh, th those are really high quality, really high quality. I'll put the link below, guys, to uh, both sets. And uh, as I said, this other stuff, you can look in your own area. If you see pigments, now you're going to see pigments and you look up, you're going to see mud. They make mud, make rust pigments. There's all kinds of pigments that look just like this. And you put it with various thicknesses and you can put it on and you get nice uh, rust marks if you're going to do stuff that's weathered. I don't do many weathered items, but uh, a lot of guys will put the rust and the streaks and the mud through uh, their military stuff. And they brush it and pull it out, you know, and that's what you're going to end up with. Um, let's try, before I let you guys go, let's try and brush paint some. Let me get everything prepped. I'm going to pause the camera one second. All right, guys, I poured a little bit of the clear into my cup. We're not going to thin it because we're going to brush it this time. There's very little in there, so let's go with very little pigments. That might do it. It's so thick, look, I can drop it and nothing's going to come out of that. And that's it. We're going to mix it up. look like mud at first oh there it goes once it blends it blends see it now you look like you got copper paint what is this we doing copper yeah copper that's it all right cap this because boy you don't want to hit this thing you don't want to hit that all right here we go Let's see how it brushes on I didn't even get a good brush I just grabbed this cheap brush that I use for quick test off camera. No, a brush is nice. Look. So if you don't thin it for airbrushing, yeah, it covers nice. So you can even brush it. 
No problem. With this golden color, though, you really got to do two coats. You really got to go across twice because you end up pulling it. It dries nice, though. It, dry, it should dry to a nice, uh, even look. Look at that. And if you want to brush, um, you can use a matte. Instead of using a gloss, use a matte coat. It'll come out like a nice, dull, uh, metal-looking uh, gold plating. So... There you go, it brushes really good. Let me get this out of the way. So that's it guys, there's the test. Really good stuff, worth your investment. A bottle of clear, uh, one box of these, or choose them, you know, these are more your plated colors, these are more your fun colors, I call them, you know, the blues, the purples, the yellow, the reds, and uh, fantastic. I, I'm very happy with them. Like, still can't get over my uh, hot pink color here, how it came out. <laughs> But, uh, yep, that's it, guys. I think it's a, it's a worthy investment. You get a lot of variety for very little money. Um, there's a set of these at, at um, Hobby Lobby. They're in little containers, a little bit bigger than these. But you get a big variety like this. So you want to try that, too. That was like 20-something bucks. Um, I haven't tested them yet, but I think they're mostly the same. But I like what this came with for the money. That's why I grabbed it. And it worked beautiful through my Patriot airbrush. So I'll put a link for everything below. And um, it's uh, it's worth your time. I, I think it was worth my it was worth my time. I enjoyed doing them, and I will definitely add these to uh, one of my gumplas that's coming up. I'll be experimenting with everything I've been testing on a few kits. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please like the video, and if you haven't already, subscribe. We have a lot more tests to go. And if you guys stuck with me this long through the video, I have a surprise announcement coming up. Something I'm pretty excited about, and uh, that's all I'm going to say. And uh, Anyway, guys, enjoy your weekend, and we will see you in the next video.